Hey bitches, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another rainy overcast day here in Central Florida. I think that we are supposed to be getting a Florida cold front and by that I mean it's gonna go into like the low 70s, just enough so you feel like you need a hoodie but you really don't because you're really sweating under there and practically dying. But that's not what this video is about. I hope you guys have all had an amazing week. We are going into the weekend and I have some things that I need to talk about. As you can see, I'm wearing my Jacqueline Roxanne necklace right here. This is the link chain. I have some things to say about it but before I get into that, I want to talk about TikTok you guys because I've been getting my life over on TikTok if you don't follow me definitely check it out link down below but I put up a TikTok yesterday about Frankie Grande wishing one of the victims in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial like to rest in power you know it was the one that was like a child uh d word diddler if you guys want to throw it out there I'm not going to put out the other word because there's some people here at YouTube that watch videos and don't like it when you talk about that kind of thing but he said rest in power to the one that was touching kids I'll say, I will say it like that so I called him out over on TikTok and I literally just told Ariana Grande that she needs to come collect her brother because what we're not about to do is wish someone who touched children to rest in power not how it is it gives me someone who didn't actually watch the case and just actually like ran off of what the media was telling him and all that because girl he was diddling kids so I'm not going to go into the case much because I know everyone has a difference of opinion on this, but all I know is I'm not about to join Frankie Grande in wishing someone who has a rap sheet of touching five underage boys to rest in power. That's just not what I'm gonna do. So if people wanna get upset by that, you wanna go mass flag something and be triggered by it, girl, go right ahead. I'm not about to, I'm not wishing nobody who touches kids, anything like that. And it really just gave me, like, I bet he didn't know much about this story or about this case. So he's just putting it out there because he thinks that victims didn't have justice. I'm... I'm, I'm like torn on this because yes, it sucks that someone lost their life, but then you look at like what they did and I know that they weren't on trial for that and all of that, but I'm looking at someone who touched children <laughs> that is no longer on this earth and I'm like, are we really that upset about it? No, the f we're not. So let's stop getting triggered over on TikTok and taking people's shit down for talking about it. But moving on from that, Jeffree Star has announced that he is going to be releasing Jeffree Star Pets today. I believe today is the actual reveal of Jeffree Star Pets. And that's cool, that's fine. Pet toys, I always look for so many different pet toys when it comes to Birkin and Aspen because they love, I'm gonna say it like this. Let's just put it out there for everyone. You guys probably already know. They sell those pets, like their toys, for humans. Like those bright colors that you see where you're like, oh my God, this is so cute, this is so pretty, oh my God. God, that's for y'all. That's not actually for the dog. You could get the dog a stick, a squeaky toy, like just something like really small, a sock even that you tied off. That's what we used to do when I was a kid because we couldn't afford um, the toys for our animals. So we had a sock that we literally tied off and just threw it. It was actually a very amazing toy. It was like a tube sock. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, leave a comment down below. But he's coming out with Jeffree Star Pet. Uh, are you ready to reveal your pet line today, ma'am? <gasps> you guys ready? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants their baby? This is your pet line. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're about an hour away until the Jeffree Star Pets Reveal video is up. Um, it's so exciting to launch a new brand, and there's a lot more coming. I know a lot of you were kind of like, whoa, what is this? Jeffree Star Pets? It was a random bam. Obviously, you guys know behind the scenes, things take months and months and so much planning. Um, so it's always nerve-wracking to be like, hi guys, I have a new brand. Hello, how are ya? <laughs> um, but I can't wait for you guys to see the video. You guys know my dogs are my world. So this was definitely uh, coming, a lot of delays, which we'll talk about in the video, but I'm so happy it's finally almost here. And one other thing, because so many people keep commenting about this, um, I'm gonna film a video about this and I'm gonna drop it after the weekend, but Britney Spears supported me a few days ago and oh, it really got some of the girls mad. She called me a genius. Oh, baby. It got some of really angry. A little shuck, huh? Um, it's crazy that someone who has been in a mental prison for 13 years finds joy in something and y'all gotta bully her into deleting her post. That is so sad. But it's okay. A lot of y'all have a lot of self-reflecting to do. I've, I've been there. Um, but I'm going to film a video detailing it. I reached out to um, her assistant. I reached out to uh, the girl that took the photo that she wrote the caption under. Because I just wanted to do my own investigating. And I'm like, girl, you guys know I never touch on this type of subjects anymore. I'm so 
past drama and tea, but this isn't drama. This is mental health. This is literally a woman that was locked in her house and has been through hell and she was bullied for liking a makeup product. Isn't that crazy? Because some of you mother can't let go what happened 20 years ago in my past. Like girl, some of y'all live in my past so much. It's, it's crazy, but I'm used to it. It's just crazy that a grown ass sad that she's even harassed for liking a product because you don't agree with it. I'm like, so now that she's free, you still don't want her to make her own decisions. It's really hard to fathom. Some of you people really need to look inside. What is wrong with y'all? <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but shout out to Britney Spears. I love you. You're a legend. And everyone bringing up an old clip from when I was 19 years old. Bitch, I'm in my 30s. Get over it. I said a dumb comment about Britney Spears in like 2007. I have every single album. I know every lyric. She's a fucking superstar and she's an icon. And I'm so glad she's free and you can't take that away from her and you ain't gonna drag me into it. So Brittany, thank you for loving my brand. I love you so much. Mwah. And I looked at it. I saw a few things. One of them's like the little classic donut that you can get literally anywhere. It has little stars on it. But then he's coming out with a lipstick. And my thing with Jeffrey is I understand that Jeffrey has a ton of fans and it's like Jeffree Star Cosmetics and all this. But why does every single company that Jeffree Star does have to have Jeffree Star on it? Like I think that people would still be excited if it was like blah 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 by Jeffree Star. Not Jeffree Star Pets. I just think that's kind of like it's kind of cheesy. It's up there with uh, you know like putting yourself on your packaging. I know Jeffrey got dragged a lot for that because he was going from this amazing packaging and then he came out with a cremated palette, cremation palette, whatever it's called, and then another one that had his face on it and people were like, okay, we get that you love yourself, but I think that we're at like a new level of love here. So I just wish that Jeffree Star Pets was like something, something by Jeffree Star. I feel like that just looks better. Like Jeffree Star Pets, who wants to like have a lipstick on their floor that their dog is chewing on, says Jeffree Star Pets. I mean, it's just, it's not me. So I will be passing on the Jeffree Star Pets. I do hope that this goes well for Jeffree. I know it is something that he has talked about in the past over in his Instagram stories, and he's very excited about it. So good for him. That is great. I love it when people get in their bag and people support other people. That's great. It's just not for me. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys are gonna check out Jeffree Star Pets, or if you're just gonna continue to go to Home Goods and literally get the exact same thing without a label on it for cheaper. And I have to tell you guys, there is some more Britney Spears to you. So ever since Britney Spears has gained like full control of her Instagram account, she's really like, for lack of a better word, lack of a better phrase, taking no prisoners. If she sees something, she calls it out. And one of the people that she called out recently was Christina Aguilera. There is this little clip going around of Christina where I guess that she was promoting her new album. I guess Christina might be on like some kind of like tour type thing right now, but she was asked how she felt about Britney Spears. And she kind of like made this face like, mm. and then her publicist is like, we're not gonna do that tonight. And Christina started to walk away and turned around and said, I am happy for her. Brittany, is, have you had any communication? Have you guys had any communication? No, we're not doing that tonight. I'm sorry. No, Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Okay. But I'm happy for her. Yeah. Brittany did not take it that way at all. Now I seem to remember Christina being one of the people that took to Instagram when the free Britney movement was like this huge thing and she like posted like a long thing saying that she would help Britney with like her legal fees and all that. Was that Christina Aguilera? Am I getting that right? You guys will have to let me know. But Britney shared the clip of Christina and said the following. I love and adore everyone who supported me, but refusing to speak when you know the truth is equivalent to a lie. 13 years of being in a corrupt, abusive system, yet why is it such a hard topic for people to talk about? I'm the one who went through it. All the supporters who spoke up and supported me, thank you. Yes, I do matter. And then Britney went on to give an example of someone who has supported her and that was none other than Lady Gaga and she shared a clip of what Lady Gaga had to say and here's what it is. The way that she was treated in this business was really wrong. And the way that women are treated in the music industry is something that I, um, I wish would change. I think that she will forever be an inspiration to women. I don't know, Britney's energy is kind of giving me, and trust me, I'm living for it like 100%, but ever since she regained her Instagram at like 100%, got out of the conservatorship, her energy to me is kind of like, I've been through hell, now I'm not gonna put up with anything. Like I'm not gonna put up with any of this BS that's coming from different people's sides and I have to say something, I'm gonna say it because for so long, I did not get to use my voice. And I am just, I am here for it. I do hope that she doesn't start getting on Instagram and like cursing people out because we don't need that. We don't need, we do not need a Tati situation from a Britney Spears Instagram story. We all remember the whole vitamin thing that kicked off, literally kicked off Dramageddon 2. Is that what it was called? I believe that's what it was called, but we don't need that from Britney. We'll just take some shady little Instagram posts here and there. We're gonna watch her life. She's gonna blossom and whatever the hell she wants to do, girl, get out there and 
and do it. So there is some tea going on with Miss Jaclyn Hill and her Jaclyn Rocks Ann line. You guys can see I have on my link necklace. Now I do want to be upfront and honest with you guys. I have not really been reaching for this that much. I've just been doing a lot. So I haven't really been going anywhere. No need to wear jewelry. I probably could have had it on this whole time where I have been sweating because you guys know that we have been removing a lot from my mother's house, getting it cleaned up, all that kind of stuff. So I have it on all day today. I can tell you is for the time that I have had this on, I wore it probably for like 12 hours one day. I have not had any reaction to it. Now I know that Jacqueline, when she came out with her line, she said that she created this because there were a few reasons she had to do it. All of the jewelry in my entire collection is 14 karat gold plated or rhodium. And if you're unaware, rhodium is just a more high end version of silver. And the thing that was so important to me, two things in my collection that the second I started designing, number one, it cannot irritate my skin, it cannot give me a rash, and it cannot turn my skin any color. Because I have had issues with really, really high end fine jewelry that literally like the earrings will turn my skin green and turn my neck green. I'm also very allergic to nickel and I have extremely sensitive skin. So I made sure that if you have sensitive skin, this is not gonna do any of that to you. I have worn every single piece of jewelry. I have worked out in it. I have sweated in it to make sure that none of that happens. So Jaclyn Hill might be in for a lipstick too. 2.0 because her jewelry line which people have had in their hands for about like what a week and a half two weeks now I don't even remember how long ago her stuff came out but a lot of people have had it in their hands and a lot of people are starting to have reactions to the jewelry that they are wearing I saw an image over on Twitter where a girl's ear and like down here on her neck was like turning green she was wearing one of the earrings now Jaclyn Hill's company did reach out to her they did tweet back to her and say hey please get in contact we want to make this right but a lot of other people I've received the DMs over on Instagram are having an issue with the quality of their jewelry now, I know when Jacqueline came out with this line, one of the things that she said, one of the reasons she had to do it is because she didn't want it to have a reaction. I totally understand that everyone's skin type is different. Not everyone is going to have the same reaction. Not everyone is going to have the same love, the same design. Like, no one is going to have the exact same experience that you are having when it comes to jewelry. Some people might be like, this is amazing. This is so pretty. Oh my God, it's so weighted. Personally, for me, I think it's pretty. I think it's a chain. I don't think it's weighted at all. It's, it's not bad, though. Would I pay $90 for it again? No. I wouldn't, but it's nice. It looks nice hanging there. It's very shiny. I know that Jacqueline wanted to go with rhodium because she tried to say that that was like a higher version of silver. I also heard that with rhodium, the plating on it will only last for about a year, which makes it perfect for Jacqueline because now people will be rolling over and just repurchasing whatever their favorite thing was. I'm going to be very curious to see if more people come forward and say that they are actually having reactions. I do you know, I would love to be able to tell people like this isn't something that you should have expected with a product that's coming from Jacqueline, but it seems like every single time that Jacqueline Hill comes out with a new launch, a new product, there is always something that goes wrong with it. Unfortunately for Jacqueline, this is a huge one because this is a jewelry line that she came out with allegedly on her own it's her own money she's taking care of it herself but Jacqueline has always like given me the impression like she likes bougie she likes really like out there stuff but she also gives the impression that if there is a corner to cut she is going to cut it and that's what this feels like to me like the inside of this I don't know what metals what this rhodium is coated on Jacqueline was very like secretive about that when she was actually doing the video I know she said gold plated and all that but what is it plated on she didn't tell anyone what it was plated on so therefore I could totally see why people are having their reactions. Uh, let me know if you picked up anything from Jaclyn Hill's line, Jaclyn Roxanne, if you love it, if you hate it, if you're having a reaction, if you're gonna return it, let me know down in the comment section. Okay, so I also have to talk about Tiger King 2. I have not watched any of it yet on Netflix. I did hear that Carol Baskin is trying to sue them over this series that is coming out or is out now, I guess. But I have a question, because I've seen this story going around for like a few days now that her husband was actually found in Costa Rica. Now, did we all not get into Tiger King 1 and we were all online saying like, oh no, she put him under that septic tank. Oh no, he's underneath that tiger's den. Like everyone had some opinion on what Carol Baskin did to her husband because you know, he left that one day and just like never came back. Well now he's apparently alive in Costa Rica. So that's giving me like, if this is true, he was like, you know what? This lady is cuckoo. I am done with it. I will end up under that septic tank. Maybe she made jokes about it before. I don't know. And he's like, I'm going to end up under there. I'm going to take this plane. I'm going to go on and I'm just going to be gone. If people want to think that I'm dead, that is totally fine. I am not making a peep. I do not want her to know where I am. So is he alive? I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm very curious about this and I'm very curious if this is going to play out on Tiger King 2 or maybe now we'll have like Tiger King 3 and it'll just be Carol Baskin's story where she doesn't want to sue. So if you guys would check that out, let me know down below. That is it for this video, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please follow all my social media that is linked down below as well. And if you've made it this far in the video, leave me a leaf emoji. Whatever kind of leaf you want to use, it does not matter. It is fall now. We don't really have leaves that are changing colors, uh, but leave me a leaf. I love you guys. See you in the next one.